Welcome back to Thought Experiment Month with 90 Second Philosophy and Carnades.org. Today we're going to be continuing our series on the philosophy of mind and artificial intelligence with a response to John Searle's Chinese Room argument called the Brain Simulator Response. Basically what we're going to do here is say maybe instead of using a computer to simulate intelligence or create artificial consciousness, we actually get a simulated version of a brain that we create through mechanical means or possibly by organically growing one in a vat. Who knows? According to this response, that brain simulation that perfectly mimics the neurons of an actual person's brain would really have consciousness and knowledge and all that good stuff. But Searle's going to push back even on this. Searle's going to say, imagine we're back in the room, but now the person, instead of having a big book, has a series of water pipes. They take the Chinese character, operate the water pipes in a specific way, and send out another Chinese character. Those water pipes just happen to perfectly mimic all of the neurons in a Chinese person's brain. But we would not say that the water pipes have consciousness, nor that the person or the water pipes have knowledge of Chinese. Therefore, the system doesn't have knowledge. Neither the water pipes nor the person know Chinese, so computers can't have knowledge. That was the brain simulator response. Next up is the Chinese gym, the Korean room, and the luminous room. Watch a new video every single day this month at carneades.org, and stay skeptical, everybody.